Welcome, I'm from the Realme 8 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So once you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with this screen over here and all you need to do is simply find your desired language, which for me is going to be English. Then tap on next, select your region, uh, just gonna select whatever, and again tap next, a Realme smart, uh, smartphone user agreement, obviously you need to agree to it otherwise you can't proceed any further. I think greets you better to the device like terms of service uh, that are on the next page as well. So obviously we need to uh, have the first one selected which for some reason actually is selected by default. Uh, then the two below that are completely optional. Now obviously if you want to agree to them you are free to do so. You can tap on that blue text to read exactly what you're agreeing to and once you have read it select it and tap on next. And then we have Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so obviously you can connect to your Wi-Fi if you have one near you that uh, well, you know the password to, for instance your own. Or you can simply skip it if you don't want to connect to it. Now by skipping it you will miss out the ability to log into Google account throughout the setup. Uh, but you can still do that later on after the setup is complete once you connect to Wi-Fi through settings. So I'm going to skip it for now. Now we do also have a couple nice additions here like the uh, Wi-Fi assistant. So as you can see automatically select best Wi-Fi. So if you have more than one Wi-Fi uh, near you that you can connect to, for instance that you connected previously so the phone remembers it, uh, it will pick the best one, so the fastest, which is a really nice thing. I'm gonna select this and then it also gives you another option. So automatically switch to mobile network. So if um, both of the, wi the Wi-Fi is that or however many Wi-Fi's you have around you suck, uh, your device will, if, it, if the device actually determines that the uh, mobile network is better, it will switch to it instead. Now, this option I wouldn't recommend for everybody. If, uh, if your well, uh, contract doesn't really uh, support or provide you with many gigabytes of data, this might not be the best option for you uh, because I'm not exactly sure how often it would switch to it. Uh, so if you're really dependent on Wi-Fi, then I would probably, or dependent on using just internet overall, I would probably not select this because you might run out of uh, your data quite quickly. So yeah, so I'm gonna press next now. And here we have Google services. So location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Obviously you can read exactly what these do by tapping on the arrow and expanding it. Uh, if you don't want them, you can also disable them, as you can see, and then simply go down and accept. Next page, uh, screen lock. So we have a couple different methods of uh, protecting our device. We have uh, password, fingerprint, or face. And now these should probably be a little bit more uh, detailed descriptions of it. So password, it will give you three different options, uh, pin, pattern, or password. Uh, fingerprint, uh, obviously the under display fingerprint sensor, and then face is a face recognition. So if you want to use, uh, for instance, the two bottom ones, uh, so fingerprint or face recognition or both of them, uh, whatever you choose, you will always be required to pick a pin pattern or password as a unlocking method on top of that. You cannot just have one of these or both of them. That's because if something happens to your finger or your face or just the sensors like the camera or fingerprint sensor, you basically lose the access to your device. So that will provide you with an actual other way of accessing your device if something goes wrong. Now I'm gonna set up a pattern. So once you tap on it, uh, the password, or in this case, it's a pin, not a password. Um, you can also change it right here. Now. I'm not exactly sure why they're calling pen, six digit pen a password, uh, and don't give you the option actually to just choose before that. But yeah, if you tap on it, you can switch it right here to use a different method. And here you have pattern, four digit, uh, four to 16 digit password, and alphabetical password. So select whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with something simple like the pattern, as I always do. And then I'm gonna draw my pattern, redraw it, and there we go, it's now set. Uh, 
recommended auto update overnight it's completely up to you uh, if there is an update your device will basically download it and update it overnight when you're sleeping basically so if you want it uh, enable it if you don't then leave it off uh, import data is just an option for you to import your older device to this one so all the call logs uh, contacts photos uh, stuff like that you can basically move it all from old device to this one if you want to uh, but I'm gonna be setting it up as new so I won't bother with this one and from there we're basically finished with the setup so once you tap on get started you should see the home screen and there it is so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching